We hope the title of this video helped to catch your attention. We know that you've got surgery coming up soon and hope that you're looking forward to it. My team and I want you to have an absolutely amazing outcome and have the best experience possible while you're getting there. So we've compiled a list of some common mistakes that might get in your way on your road to recovery or make your journey less pleasant than it otherwise should have been. If you'll take these tips to heart and avoid some of these common mistakes, you can help ensure that you have a great recovery. The biggest way to compromise a great outcome from surgery is to never have surgery in the first place. So make sure you've reviewed all the information that we've given you, that you know when to stop your medications, particularly blood thinners or GLP-1 medications like Ozempic or Manjaro that are used to treat diabetes and for weight loss. The other thing is to make sure that you disclose any previous medical issues you've had, particularly heart issues. If you've seen a cardiologist before or have a history of any problems, let us know as soon as possible. We don't want to have you show up on the day of surgery and have your surgery canceled because of an unforeseen issue with your medications or part of your medical history that we weren't aware of. Far and away, one of the biggest mistakes you can make is not preparing for surgery. This is not something that's happening to you, it's happening for you. So make sure you've put the time in to prepare and learn about the surgery. Review the printed and video materials that we've provided for you. They've got a lot of helpful information about your recovery. Unfortunately, there's no doctor or nurse or physical therapist or anyone who can recover for you. We want to make sure that you're prepared, that you understand what's happening with your surgery. The more you know about this, the better prepared you are to have a great outcome. So the biggest mistake you can make is not preparing for surgery. You've got a lot of time left. Make sure you go back over everything, figure out anything that you need to know, and be ready to recover. If I meet you on the day of surgery and you've got a lot of questions about things, I've let you down. I haven't prepared you well enough for this. Take the time now to review anything that you need to. Call or email us if you still have questions, and let's make sure that you're ready to go. A really common mistake that we see often is the overuse of narcotic pain medication. A lot of patients are understandably anxious that they may have pain after surgery and they tend to overdo it on some of the medications. We've provided you with a lot of non-narcotic medicines and a lot of pain control strategies like elevation and icing to help during your recovery. Just remember that narcotic pain medications have their place. They can be useful, especially in the first couple of days after surgery, but try to minimize those and try to wean down from them as soon as possible. You can expect to have some pain during the first few weeks and months after surgery, but just know that this is normal and that it will come to an end and try to adapt other strategies to deal with this other than the use of narcotics. Unfortunately, another way to mess up your recovery after a surgery is to not preempt or treat constipation. A lot of the anesthesia agents that you're given as well as the medications that you may be taking before and after surgery can cause constipation for a lot of patients. Make sure that you're taking some type of a stool softener or laxative like Miralax that we discussed in our preoperative video. Make sure that you're drinking a lot of fluids. And if you've not had a bowel movement within the first couple of days after surgery, please let us know so that we can advise you on alternate strategies. This is something that unfortunately can build up and become a real problem if you don't preempt it and then address it quickly. Another really common way to mess up a good surgery and good recovery is to do too much too soon. We've spent a lot of time trying to perfect our techniques in terms of how we do the surgery and how we do everything around it so that patients can have a really great outcome and a really quick recovery and get back to doing what they want to do. But even though we've spent a lot of time practicing and perfecting that, 
your body still has to heal from surgery. It's gone through a lot during that process of your joint replacement and it needs time to heal. So a common mistake can be doing too much too soon. In the early days and weeks after surgery, make sure that you're letting your body heal, that you're moving slowly and carefully. We don't want to see you take a fall. We don't want to see you overdo it and cause swelling or pain of your joint that sets back your recovery. As much as we want you to get back to doing what you do, just recognize that this has been a trauma to your body and it has to recover. So give it some time, give yourself some grace, and put the time in early on to heal well from your surgery so that you can get a great outcome. Hopefully you've watched all of the instructional videos multiple times and you're prepared for a great surgery and a great outcome. If you have any questions about your upcoming surgery, email us, barbertotaljoint at alortho.com or give us a call so that we can get those answered and have you ready to go.